I'm back with another video. Today we got the story about the chimp-human hybrid. Joe Rogan and Tom Green. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Fascinating, fascinating though that nature figured out a way to stop everything from fucking everything and just getting it <laughs> pregnant. Isn't it like nature's like we gotta have a, a system in here uh -huh. because that's just that's untenable. Uh -huh. That's gonna lead to chaos. Uh -huh. yeah. Like if humans imagine, can you imagine? If humans could get Thank other things pregnant. It is so good that they Everything would be a hybrid of a human. Like that everything. Is, yeah, like be a, a lobster human hybrid. Somebody, be somebody a, would do that. You know? Island filled with. You know how insane that sound? A lobster human hybrid. Imagine seeing that. Like, what the? Turtle people. People walking around with exoskeletons going, hey, this ain't so bad. You're going to be on the island going, I can't believe someone a turtle. Yeah. And there's going to be this guy, like, with a turtle shell on. Goo. Yeah. You know, he's going to be mad at you. Like, I'm just saying. Because people are insane. Insane. I mean, somebody has probably the turtle. 100% someone's the turtle. <laughs> Right? If you had to bet everything you own, sure. 100%. Yeah, have to, a a guy somewhere yeah. has been hopped up on some fucking mm -hmm. yeah. Vietnamese street map. Right. Probably American. Yeah. Probably an American <laughs> guy from the Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> Over there hiding from the law or something, right. and he's methed up and he's a turtle. Right. Yeah, people have everything. But no result because of the power, the nature has uh, made these protections, thankfully. The wildest stuff. He said people. And he's right. I ain't people then. I mean, I've always been on the outskirts. I've always been the exception to the rule. I'm not a part of the populist, the consensus, the dumb, deaf, and blind. The... They not lying, though. It's whole, it's whole genres on bestiality. You got people that like incest, um, pedophilia, molestation. Like, it's weird. It's... Weird ain't even a word, but that's the closest word in the English context for me to express my sentiment. But yeah, I don't understand it, thankfully, and I stand under it, rightfully so, because people are insane. I ain't people. You got many, you got gods, man. I'm indigenous, aboriginal to the land. I ain't them. The hell somebody that had hunched on one of these as well, whatever it is, he is. Let's continue. A hybrid, of course, is the liger. Yeah. Because they, they miss the gene that regulates size. Yeah. They they don't have the same gene that, like, a tiger and a lion does. I've seen those. I forget which one, how does it work? Is it a male lion and a female tiger or a male tiger and a female lion? I forget which one it is, but in that combination, when they make a liger, they just keep growing. Yeah. <laughs> They're so big. Yeah, I've looked at these on the internet. These I don't, I, you know, yeah. the, the thing is, is I guess... I guess a tiger and a lion and a donkey and a horse are close enough together in evolution to be able to to uh, do this. And there's, yeah. I guess, no animal that is close enough to us to be able to Luckily, come close enough. Because, you know, they've done experiments or with maybe the we just other haven't, primates. Maybe just nobody's fucked the right thing yet to figure it out. I bet someone just pulled it off in China. Or I mean, it is ways to create these abominations, isn't it? carvings on rune stones and hieroglyphs of people for the most part to have human form but just a cat head or a tiger head and and like centaurs and all that if you want to get into astrology and all that even better yet chinese astrology which i feel is the most accurate 12 zodiac signs out of all 12, the general populace seem to think that 11 of the animals on there is real because they see them and they can see them. And you think it's just one on there that's fake being the dragon. I'm pretty sure we all can agree. It's a reason for that sentiment in the Bible that two thirds won't make it. They won't make it because they ignorant. They won't make it because they're dumb, deaf or blind. One of the three, two of the three, all three. I will argue most are all three. We all would agree. It's someone that will agree with me too. That's a part of the problem. That's dumb, deaf, and blind. That yeah, people are stupid. I see that to be what it is. We all can see that, right? Some stupid ass people. It's not drawing, conjuring up and drawing no dragon. You're not doing it. 
you you are incapable of creating or saying or drawing anything that doesn't exist already infinite infinite in the infinite domain the akashic records so i see that too you're not capable of that let me know what you think if you still think it's fake let's continue russia or something like that they probably got some chimp human hybrid somewhere I've heard sort of uh, internet conspiracy theories that there was a, a Russian uh, experiment that went awry or something like this, well, but... There was this one very strange case of a chimpanzee that they call Humanzy, and this chimpanzee had very human-like <laughs> features, and it lived with a family. Uh -huh. I forget if it was a family of researchers, I forget the story, but it, they always end tragically Humanzy. because those things, ultimately, as they get older, they want to be the boss. Mm -hmm. It's a big male. Right. And they're going to just fuck you up. They're mm -hmm. going to bite your fingers off or bite your friend's finger. It's always something like that. They always do something horribly, mm -hmm. horribly violent mm -hmm. eventually. But this one that they had, they had him for a long time. A chimp, a naturally violent animal, right? Keep that in mind. Long time. And he looked like a human. Yeah. Look, oh, it looked weird. Like yeah. he had, And he stood upright a lot and he wore clothes. He's got a big old donkey dick. Look at that donkey dick. Mm -hmm. The Humanzy of Orange Park. First of all, Humanzy is such a great name. I oh, mean, yeah. I almost wish it had worked just for that reason alone. Right. Humanzy. I mean, there'd be Humanzies going around. But, uh, yeah, I often kind of have See little... Find, the, so there's some weird, shocking pictures of it. Like that one in the upper right-hand corner. The one, yeah, right, that right. And right. they're so strong. Click, click on that one. Look at its face. Yeah. Like, it's got an odd face. Mm -hmm. And there's some pictures I think they're probably doctored that made it a little more human looking to c confuse people. But the thing, like, as it got older, see if you can find the older pictures of it. It looked real weird, man. Yeah. But it was just a chimp. It was just a chimp that, you know, had been <laughs> taught to behave that way. Yeah. Look at how he's walking. He's walking like a chimp. He's not walking like a human. Look at the shoulders and the arms. That's a chimp. But I sometimes think about the close calls I've had with a couple times with animals where I wasn't really giving them the not like just understanding the power they had like I had a chimpanzee on a show I did once on on, on my TV show back in the day and you know it was a it was a trained chimpanzee but massive and uh, you know I remember after the show I just said hey can I hang out with the chimpanzee so it came out and I was just sitting out with them in the parking lot for about half an hour just me and this chimpanzee right in front of me looking right in my eyes it was playing with the buttons on my shirt and you know was the, the trainer was 20 feet away and I just thought it was so the cutest thing and then you know you a few years later I read about the chimpanzee ripping that killing people and how yeah. violent they are and you go man that is you know I had a I had a macaw at one point which I actually had to get rid of a big red parrot you know a macaw and I got it in uh, when it was 13 months old and this was my biggest disappointment I'd say with uh, a pet because I had gotten this macaw his name Rex he was on the web show for a period of time I was after you were on that time but and I really love this thing and I love animals you know and I, I, I I was so fascinated by it because I was realizing, oh, this is, this is a pet that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. And I was all dedicated to this. And I was really kind of somewhat moved by the fact that I was going to be having this beautiful macaw for the rest of my life. And it would, it would pick my teeth and it would stick its beak in my mouth and, you know, literally like just kind of put its plate and chew on my ear and all of this kind of stuff. And uh, then all of a sudden, uh, when it got to be about 13 years old, it just became a real asshole. Like it really, really changed. It had been going from this little baby to, I couldn't put my hand in the cage without it really biting hard. And it almost took my finger off. Uh, I had to go in the cage to clean the cage and I couldn't pick it up anymore. And uh, I actually had to find it a new home. Uh, but Do you think it just didn't like being in a cage? I, I'm sure it didn't. I wouldn't like it I'd like it myself. You know? And uh, and and that that can be the case. It can be that, or it can be you are what you eat, and that go for every living organism. It, it can be whatever he was feeding it and what it was drinking. And the animal was chemically imbalanced and whatever. It can be a multitude of reasons. Let's continue. And that feels bad too. That's the thing I don't really like about yeah, having you're a prison warden. Let me know. You guys out there, do you, when you give your cats and dogs water that you love so much, right? They like family members. Do you still give your cats and dogs tap water? 
or do you give them GMO food or do you give them the better things I know it's more expensive but and somebody let me know if that's what y'all do I'm curious like do y'all give it tap water you run the sink and just put it right there or... I mean I would hope not don't cats have special abilities and heightened senses so you would dwindle their potential by giving them tap water and just pellets and let's continue yeah exactly i started to feel really bad so i took it back to the 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 bird place where i'd gotten it and they said to me oh yeah we don't it's been 13 years later and i've been spent i've been spending 75 bucks a month on walnuts for 13 years you know these eat a lot of walnuts and then uh where did those walnuts come from and where they're GMO or whether all that is a factor uh, they say oh yeah we don't sell macaws anymore because when they get to be 13 they 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 change and they become really really mean I'm like well, you could have told me that 13 years ago but so I <laughs> so it was like a, like there's an internal clock yeah they just so they, it's like they, a puberty they thing? hit like a puberty thing yep and so yeah. so I feel bad but I got her a better home that's why it's but, scary to be in front of a chimp yeah the, the chimp Exactly. They could just decide. I have I these. Fuck this guy up. I have these moments where I think about the time when that macaw would have its beak. <laughs> he said they can just, they can just decide. I want to fuck this guy up. <laughs> oh man. In my mouth, could've you know, just lips. months before it could have ripped my face apart. Sitting with that, but the the fanny, the this mule, and I have the donkey as well, who was her companion for her, named Kia. She was a two-year-old donkey, and uh, they, um, the donkey will live to be 50, potentially. Oh. And uh, the fanny is a big animal, so she could live to be 30, 35 years old, and so she's 10 now, so, so it's a big responsibility, uh, and I, I really kind of consider them now, after having them just for a short time, kind of family. Yeah. So it's an amazing thing. But they are, the thing that's, I think the thing that's most interesting about a mule let me just kind of we won't talk about mules for the whole show but uh, you know the they are so smart that they figure you out so i'm new to this so when i first got her i was given one day of training on how to ride a horse so i learned how to saddle her up i learned how to get up on this thing you know you pull the rein you look where you want to go you push with your foot opposite of the of the side you want to turn there's a sort of little rhythm to that and it went great for about we all know humans that eat just like one of these like they mouth broke or something about a month but then she started sort of figuring out that i was sort of uncertain in what i was doing she, she started to understand that i didn't know what i was doing and so she starts testing me right and i don't necessarily realize that's what's going on damn i was interested in the next segment well, oh yeah, I have something for you guys as well. Somebody let me know what you guys think about this, this as well. You know what I was referring to about a chimpanzee being a naturally violent animal, right? Let me know what you think of this. Some people tend to think, oh, we give it the title aliens, but oh, aliens are fake. No, they're not. I, I see some of them right now. And once more, what Alex Jones was speaking on, on the Joe Rogan podcast, he said, you want to know something, Joe? The aliens are in this room right now. And there was nothing but people of their biological makeup in the room, right? Not to say we aren't aliens either, but this is crazy. You may have antigens on your blood due to mixing or rape, more than likely, from their forefathers. And, and it's still prevalent, still relevant, it's still in your blood so it's up to you to correct what you're dealt with undergoing neuroplasticity rewriting your dna or affirmations with the corresponding feeling imagery all that um and eating according to your genetics this is insane you got people out there that's eating they call them cannibal sandwiches. Literally, like if you see the taco meat in a wrapper, you just grab that, toss it on a bun, put some cheese and some sprinkle some seasonings on it and some onions, and they just you're a serial killer. At that point, to me, you're Jeffrey Dahmer. But let me know what you think of this. If you're neuromelanated, you may have antigens on your blood more than likely due to again. I 
I don't have this shit. Let me know what you guys think of this. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.